Hello everybody, welcome back to Cougar City Gaming. Today we are going to talk to you about some of the roles in Town of Salem. We're going to keep playing, um, keep going on with the roles. Um, this time we're going to do the Covenant roles. If you want to see the Town roles, um, there is a Town roles video on the playlist. And then there's also a neutral video on the playlist as well. <clears throat> so make sure you check those out. If you want to see the Mafia one, um, there is the town trader game um the just regular town tra trader game and i showed the mafia rolls in there i may actually do another uh, video in the future for that but <clears throat> for now uh you guys can watch that at the very end of that video and let's get started shall we so the coven leader is basically the same thing as the witch if you watch the neutral video um you are the coven leader you, you can control players including your own coven members. So a lot of times what, um, if you have in Coven Town Trainers specifically, you're gonna have a Medusa. You can actually control somebody into the Medusa um, and the Medusa needs to gaze. Make sure you do that, but um, it's it's a pretty cool thing to do. Um, you can also control vigilantes into shooting townies. Um, that way you can actually kill two people at once in a way, because if they kill a townie, then um, they're gonna die the next day. So that's pretty cool. Uh, to know uh, but yeah as a coven leader you will have the book at first uh, with a necromonicon if you're alive you're gonna have the book first uh, after you die um, or you get lynched you're gonna give the book to, to the other person in the coven and it depends it just it's hit or miss but uh, it's pretty cool you're showing showing up as Inno whenever you have the book uh, every other time you are sus so be careful when um, you are doing the stuff a lot of Coven leaders claim lookouts, um, and you can actually see players' rules. So if you control a player, um, at the end of the day, you're going to see, hey, that person does this and this, and they're the godfather. Or, hey, that person looks uh, at people. That person heals people. They're a skilled surgeon. They must be a doctor. So you're going to find out people's roles. Um, sometimes people do sheriffs or investigators with Coven leader. That is pretty cool, too. But you have to be careful because people are are gonna know they are witch so if you start saying hey i'm investigating so and so and they're like oh this guy was witch too wasn't he oh and they kind of they could kind of turn on you so be careful with that the hex master is much like the arsonist um and the play bearer you're basically hexing somebody every night um now once all the people are hexed there's going to be a hex bomb that goes off um, and what you do is you're going to kill everybody. It's an unstoppable attack, kind of like the Arsa with igniting. It's kind of like that. So the Hex Master role works quite a bit like the, um, the Arsonist. Now, um, <coughs> it does the same thing with the Arsonist. If you're doused and somebody investigates you, then you're going to show up as BF, uh, or Bodyguard, Godfather, Arsonist, or Crusader. Um, same with the Hex master you're gonna be if you're hexed you're gonna be shown like if an investigator goes on you they're gonna see um hex master results uh with the investigator wills so you got to be careful with that the medusa um the the cool thing is you're gonna get three gazes um you should use them as quickly as possible all three nights the first three nights that way um if you do get the book later on you could actually visit people um when you have the book where um if you're just a regular medusa you're not going to be able to visit people so you got to be careful with that um with your gazes but i use them every single night one two and three and then i whenever i get the book then there you go that's when you start gazing non-stop and it's pretty fun but um a lot of times the coven leader is going to um control people into you so make sure you're gazing for that um, and you just pretty much, um, do your thing. The only thing is you can be roadblocked. If an escort roadblocks you, you're not going to be gazing. So be careful with that. If there's an escort in the game and they know who you are, make sure you take them out quick. The necromancer can, is, is a pretty cool, uh, as well. The, uh, the retributionist, like the town role, but it's, um, but it's basically a necromancer. Now, the cool thing about the Retributionist and the Necromancer 
is that the retributionist cannot use like mafioso or neutral killing roles to kill people the necromancer can so if you see such and such that's werewolf and there's already a dead werewolf in the graveyard <clears throat> it's either another werewolf is in the game or the necro used the werewolf uh body to kill somebody so you kind of look for those um things also the necro cannot protect themselves so if they use a bodyguard <clears throat> on somebody and not themselves and you see them you know the bodyguard kill then you have to know hey this guy might be a necromancer where in the retributionist you can actually use stuff on yourself <clears throat> so just kind of keep it night um you can also just raise the ghoul to kill people you have those those kind of things uh as well you can reanimate a serial killer reanimate a werewolf reanimate pestilence reanimate a doctor to, to heal a coven member so you can heal other coven members and other people but you cannot heal yourself so kind of be careful with that um when you're claiming retri because a lot of necromancers like to claim retributionist but you got to be careful and you got to know how to play that game correctly because people are going to say oh there's a necro oh wait this person can claim retri you must be a necro so be careful when you're claiming that and here is the poisoner <clears throat> poisoner is pretty cool um a lot of people claim uh poison the the first um uh, the second day with poisoner and then somebody heals them <laughs> so be careful when you're doing that um and then a lot of people claim dog which is the stupidest thing ever because <laughs> as a poisoner claiming dog i don't know i don't know some people are weird but what you do is you poison somebody every night now the only way that you cannot kill that person for poison is if somebody if a guardian angel or a doctor healed that person you know during that night after they were poisoned <clears throat> now when you have the book you're gonna kill that person that night so if you poison let's say number five and they don't have a doctor or a guardian angel on them or somebody protecting that then they're going to be dead um <clears throat> so there you go you can also um go after a veteran and if you have the you have to have the book though uh and you have to make sure that the veteran does not have any any kind of protection on them and you you can have the veteran die to your, your poison so um and then you can also have a jail player die to your poison too um i actually was a jailer in one game and i actually jailed somebody who was poison just to give the poisoner that achievement so it's uh, a pretty cool uh thing to do and then last but not least we have the, the potion master as a potion master you are given three potions now you cannot use the potions in a row. You have to use the heal potion one and then the kill potion and then the heal potion again. You cannot use the kill potion nights one, two, and three. You have to kind of blend them in. Um, you get a reveal potion, a kill potion, and a heal potion. So a lot of the potion masters claim as docs, especially if they have a poisoner in the, in the game. So what they do is they'll, um, they'll claim doc, they'll heal the poison person and pass themselves as the doctor um to you know to believing the town believing or they can claim investigator or um sheriff or they can claim um pretty much any investigative role that they can they can do um so just kind of be careful about you know some of the claims and just kind of watch their wills if you feel like there is a pm in the mist um a lot of times in Coven, Town Trader, um, or in all any, I try to kill with the Potion Master as soon as possible to try to gain the advantage. So, kind of uh, use that to your will. Kind of see what the Coven, uh, what your group is, and what you kind of have in, uh, in your Coven party, and use that to your advantage. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button to get content just like this. I am going to try to upload some... Um, uh, the VIP mode and all any that way you guys can kind of see how those games are played but uh, yeah thank you guys for watching